Hi guys, I'm Radha Arjuna. I'm working at Cadence as an intern. Hi guys, my name is Dattar Trela. I'm working as SOC verification engineer in Intel. So we are here to uh, provide you some tips on uh, how the placement uh, interview goes and uh, what all uh, uh, the things that are required, uh, prerequisites required before attending an interview. So I am um, going to start with uh, the basics that you learn here at Maven. If each and everything, each and every concept that uh, the lecturers teach here are very important. Please concentrate on the basics first in the uh, maybe in digital part, very log SV UVM. Basically in digital part, if you are, if the interview is held for digital design post, digital design engineering post, so then the digital design part and the very log part is very very important. So the extra things that the lecturers tell in Maven, you have to be, um, you have to work more on that so that it will help you in cracking the interview. Sir. And uh, apart from the curriculum part, the Linux, uh, the Linux uh, commands you work on that is really very very helpful in the industry because in the industry everyone uses Linux commands itself. The more and more Linux commands you know, the more and more differentiating that you will be. Uh, uh, presenting them in a better way than the others. So it is better if you know more and more Linux commands other than what you use in the uh, practical part. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, the Linux command part, the uh, basics part, so that would make you a, a better person in the interview compared to others and be very very thorough in your resume. Uh, uh, the more and more resume information will be given by uh, my friend Radhatreya. So coming to the resume, make sure you know in and out of your resume that you present at the interview because if you lie, they'll get to know and that's not really good for you. Uh, so if you have done your BE project really well, so try to explain to them what you have done and if they ask any real life applications, make sure you tell that and how you have solved a problem when you encountered it because most people are interested in solving the problems and they'll not be really interested in the rest of the resume what did you do when you encountered a problem that's what they look for so in the intel interview i had so they asked me why did i use a rectifier in my project because uh, it had to. It will cancel each other out if I don't rectify it in at the end uh, uh, software. So he knew that I put my effort in the project. I didn't give it to anyone else. So problem solving is what they look for. And apart from this, as my friends have said, problem solving, debugging is is the is the thing they look for. So you must be very good at debugging. Uh, if any problem, if any small problem that occurs in, while uh, doing the practical sessions, you you yourself debug it before uh, simply asking the uh, teachers to debug it for you. You only uh, debug it so that you'll be having more and more practice of debugging the uh, problems. And apart from that, the make file structure uh, simply uh, running make run command doesn't help. So the navigation part that takes place in the make file, how uh, what and uh, each and every thing, each and every step, each and every target, what does the target do? What does the target do when you uh, run that target? Uh, for example, if there is a target run, if you do make run, what are all the steps that takes place inside the run target? Because each and every step in the target, under the target will be defined. So you must be knowing what that run command will do. So as I said, debugging and navigating through the make file is very, very important. Uh, so all these things, uh, will matter a lot in the interview process and also in your uh, career building. So uh, this is these are all the tips from my side. And uh, yeah, make sure you know the basics of uh, computer architecture uh, like a RAM and ROM, cache, SRAM, DRAM, DDR. So these things will help you stand out from the crowd. And uh, it, it shows that you have done something extra apart from your engineering. I mean, you have true love for the subject that you are working in. So, yeah, this would be my advice. In the protocols part also. So, be thorough in the protocols as much as possible. So, each and every protocol is too huge, but whatever you do in Maven, that is enough. 
for the interview process. Uh, be thorough in what you do. So coming to uh, scripting languages like uh, Perl, uh, it's just to make your job easier and in the industry it is used in developing the infrastructure for your test bench. So knowing Perl is really helpful, especially the special characters and how do you pass files into the function. Yeah, correct. So these are really important. Uh, Try to get the basics of it. You need not be an expert, but make sure you know the basics of Perl. Uh, so we wish you all the best for your future and your career. So make use of the uh, curriculum uh, materials they give and uh, put in your efforts too, so that uh, you will be uh, a better person among the other uh, crowd. So all the best from our side. All the best.